everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm in the hospital again, uh, which should be no surprise by now. Um, but I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about why I'm in the hospital so often. Um, I kind of glaze over the fact and kind of just like go by it really quick whenever I am in the hospital like this, but I kind of wanted to really explain to you guys kind of what I'm going through. Um, also, <laughs> I am coming to you as real as I possibly can be. I have not showered in more than a week, <laughs> not even lying. Um, I've been in the hospital for over a week now and uh, I don't have eyebrows on. My hair is a disaster. Um, I'm all puffy from the medications I'm on. Um, but I'm just coming to you guys from a real place. I just want to share with you kind of like what, uh, what I go through. Um, because I get a lot of questions about it and uh, I always want to use my channel as a way to talk openly about these things and let other people who are going through maybe something similar just kind of let them know that you know they're not alone and that if you do go through stuff like this uh, I go through it too a lot of people go through it um, and yeah you're just you're not alone so anyway um, for those of you who don't know I have cystic fibrosis cystic fibrosis is a genetic degenerative lung disease um sorry big big inhale um basically cystic fibrosis makes um everyone has like mucus in their lungs and in their body right um but it really only is a problem when people get sick and they might be like congested and kind of like cough stuff up but um with cystic fibrosis um i'm literally always like my lungs produce much more mucus and secretions than the normal average person. And what that ends up doing is that my lungs will fill with bacteria and get uh, me sick. They cause infections. And um, that's ultimately why I end up in the hospital. Um, what will happen is the course will kind of go something like this. Um, well, my hands look really big. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm filming with my iPad, so like the angles are all kinds of weird and that just looks really funny. Anyway, I got distracted. Where was I? Um, what will happen is I will get sick and I will go to my doctor and I'll be like, hey, I'm sick, I need antibiotics. And they'll give me antibiotics. And sometimes that makes me feel better and that's all I need. Um, other times uh, the antibiotics will end up being too weak. So what will happen is I will either go back for more oral antibiotics and see if that helps, or I will go to the hospital. Basically, when the antibiotics don't cure whatever's wrong with me, that means that there is a infection, there's some bacteria in my lungs that is not coming out and not being treated with the antibiotics. Um, and what will happen is I will just keep getting sick over and over and over again, and I, will, I won't get better because the bacteria is in my lungs and it's not coming out. Sorry, I thought someone was coming. Um, so what will end up happening is I will go to the hospital and I will get one of these. This is a PICC line. Um, basically what this is, is a um, an IV that is long term. So I will need three to four weeks of IV antibiotics. And um, when you have like a normal IV, like one that goes through your hand or like through your arm, those are only meant to last a couple days. So what ended up happening is um, the antibiotics that I'm on, um, they're really, really hard on the veins. The nurse actually put it this way. She said that they are corrosive to your veins, which I'd never heard that term before, but that sounds like really scary. Um, but basically it just means that uh, your veins can't handle that the substances they can't handle the antibiotics so um, they put in an IV because it takes a little time to get something like this set up and they'll put the medicine through the IV but then the IV will only last a day or two before it gets too painful to do anything else with so that's when this comes in this is just basically oh my god I have had this pick line for a few days now and I did not realize that the writing was still on my arm I am a mess, guys. <laughs> um, anyway, moving on. Um, basically what this is is an IV. So I'm getting actually antibiotics through it right now, which is kind of cool. So here's my medicine. Um, but this goes, it's very long. So it goes all the way through one of the major arteries in my arm and it actually rests 
right by my heart. So the medicine uh, is going through my body extremely fast because it's going to my heart and my heart is pumping it throughout my body. Like, excuse me, it's pumping it really fast. Um, so that means that the medicine works faster, which is, you know, good. Um, I'm also on much more aggressive antibiotics than what you can get with oral antibiotics, um, which kind of leads back to the whole, you know, corrosive thing. Um, but what this is doing is this is treating the infection that's in my lungs. Um, so it's doing what antibiotics do. In addition to antibiotics, um, I'm also getting fizzy... <laughs> I can't talk. Um, I'm also getting physical therapy twice a day. Um, in the morning, we will do some kind of airway clearance, um, and that can be a couple different things. Um, there is a machine that I have. I put on a bulletproof vest, and it literally vibrates my chest until um, I cough things up. And the point of the physical therapy is to cough and to get the mucus that's in the deep, deep part of my lungs up and out. Because like I mentioned before, the reason why I keep getting sick is because there's bacteria in my lungs that's stuck in there. Um, my airways, like a normal person's airways are like this, mine are like this. So it's really difficult to get some of that stuff out because it's just stuck in those little airways. So what I need to do is I need to do a mixture of breathing treatments that help open up my airways a little bit. And then I need to do some physical therapy to help actually get the stuff out. It won't come out on its own. I need to work and actually remove it from my body. So to do that, like I said, there is the vest that shakes. Um, my physical therapist also literally beats on my back in different parts of my lungs to help like literally loosen up the stuff in my lungs. It sounds archaic, I know, but it, it actually works. They the vibrations from the pounding on my chest actually help to loosen up some of that gunk so I can get it out. Um, I also do a bunch of breathing exercises and um, there's a few different uh, a few different exercises that just kind of target different parts of my lungs so that I am moving air through it and then moving mucus through it as well. So that's why I'm in the hospital and this happens usually about twice a year, which is actually very good considering I have cystic fibrosis. There are a lot of cystic fibrosis patients who are in the hospital like every one or, or uh, like two or three months. So I consider myself very lucky to be in here for six, like every six months. And I'm in here until I feel like I can go home and finish the antibiotics at home. Um, I would hate to be in here for three weeks because um, when I go to the uh, hospital at first, um, I'm tired, I'm weak, I feel like crap, I don't wanna do anything. But once the antibiotics start kicking in and I start getting some of the stuff out, I start to feel better. So I would not wanna be in here for the full three weeks. Um, it's been almost two weeks right now and I'm starting to lose my mind. Um, so what happens is they actually send me home with this still in me and I do all the medicines on my own. Um, you guys can kind of see there's like an IV bag. That's what's going on right here. So it's actually super simple to do all this stuff at home. If you guys want, I can make a separate video about how I take care of my pick line at home and how I give myself my medicines. It's super easy and I honestly, it's it's way better than being in the hospital. I always feel like I heal better at home and around my animals, around my husband, and not in this kind of like sterile hospital environment. So I'm really lucky and grateful for the fact that I can finish my antibiotics at home. So that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here so often. Um, it kind of sucks, but honestly, it's at the point where I'm so used to it. It's just kind of part of my life now. Um, I will, I've learned to recognize like the signs of when I need to go to the hospital. Um, if I just won't get better from oral antibiotics, if I keep getting sick, if it's been six months, I kind of have to have the talk to myself like, okay, do I need to go to the hospital? And that's a choice that I have to make for myself and something that I talk about with my medical team. And I just go in, I take myself to the hospital and I stay here for a little while until I feel like I can go home. So yeah, um, I've never really talked about it that much on my, this channel before. So I kind of wanted to just give you guys some more information because I know I've made a lot of the 
updates, hey, I'm in the hospital, you know, send me well wishes, but I kind of just wanted to explain to you what's actually going on in my body and just why I'm here so often. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want more videos like this, me talking about my illness or illness related things, please let me know and I will be so happy to make them. If you want a whole video about my pick line, I'd be happy to do that too because I know I get a lot of questions about this thing. Nice. Um, so yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I will have a regular art video out next week, so thank you guys for being patient. And um, yeah, that's all I have to say. So thank you guys for hanging out with me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.